Hi, Bob. Hi. It's good to be back, buddy. Welcome back. I've uh, been gone for a week, but I've been paying close attention to everything that was going on. Got back today. We're in our usual football mode, talking about moves the Seahawks might make. When all of a sudden, an ex-Seahawk popped into the news. It was a story, I believe, that was first tweeted by a, a writer for the Tennesseans, said that Matt Hasselbeck, we all remember him quite fondly, uh, was released by the Tennessee Titans and, uh, and would be available to be out there. Now, I thought... A couple of things about that first. I'll admit the first thought was, geez, it'd be nice to see him end his career here. On the other hand, though, is like I've said, Bob, maybe more so than you, I really think we need a backup who is more suited to play the way they play. Uh, I don't know. I mean, how would you feel if they made a move on Matt Flynn and bringing Matt Hasselbeck back? Well, if they're committed to getting rid of Matt Flynn, then I would love to have Hasselbeck back. Without question, I think he's the best uh, quarterback to ever wear a Seahawks uniform, despite what others may say. And I think he still has value. I think he still has ability in this league. Is he going to be Russell Wilson part two? No, he's not that mobile guy. He's not going to run that offense the same way. But, you know, Flynn is not really that guy either. Right. So if, if they're determined to, to get rid of Flynn or think they can get something of value and they're going to have to address that, why wouldn't you go with a guy who's been here? who understands what it is to play in the city, who still has ability, who, who can be invaluable to a guy like Russell Wilson. We've, we've all heard about how great he's been with Jake Locker out there. Not that Russell Wilson needs a ton of guidance anymore, but it, it certainly doesn't hurt in a year that perhaps we, we talk about sophomore slumps with quarterback, young quarterbacks. I'm not sure if Wilson's a guy that will be prone to that, but it, it certainly doesn't hurt. I don't see a downside to it at all. No, I don't either. And I guess it was Chris Mortensen, right, who tweeted right afterwards that there were, what, a dozen teams that have yeah, already been connected felt to felt like the whole league. But. And, and the guy, another guy made a good point to us, too, by the way, and the Seahawks have got to think about things this way a little bit, that one of those teams was the San Francisco 49ers, who had an interest in Matt Hasselbeck uh, going back a year or so. I, I think two things. I think we both agree that if he wants to keep playing, and no one knows uh, at this point, Point. He's going to be able to keep playing. There's going to be plenty of opportunities. Starting, probably not. So, I don't know. I, it seems to me that if I was Matt Hasselbeck, I, I might be looking at a contending team that would be here. I mean, why wouldn't you want to be back in this situation? I think the relationship with Pete Carroll was good. I never got a sense it was bad or anything like yeah. that. Um, I don't know that I, 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 I'm not going to back off my thing that where I really think they'd be better suited with a guy who's more like Russell Wilson at quarterback. So, I think ultimately that where, that's where it might be. But uh, how could you not want to see Matt Hasselbeck back here? How could you possibly have a problem with a guy with that class, that style, and that ability, for that matter, coming back here? So, come on back, Matt. 